Where's our beer? I wanted a fucking drink, not a pony piece. Yeah. Boss said, uh, no, from now, oh, shit. Spiderlings <laughs> <laughs> is a it's quite a an up to date commentary on the social issues that we have um, in the UK and all around the world uh, in terms of the LGBT community as the central characters Eden and Matilda are a gay couple. Spiderlings is a horror fantasy musical, quite a, a tongue in cheek musical uh, horror fantasy uh, about two. Uh, girls, a gay couple that are trying to fiddle the British benefit system um, to survive and support themselves as many people are nowadays, uh, which makes it very contemporary because of course at the moment that is very much in the news about how people are trying to survive and cope with benefit cuts and such. Um, but being a horror of course it has a lot of very unusual angles and shoots this way and that way and, and uh, lots of spiders and <laughs> murders and blood and guts and love it yes <laughs> so it's got some very dark sides it's got some very camp sides some very macabre sides it's got a lot of stuff going on it's a comedy and it's a musical so it's not like a dark depressing sort of film it's got you know other elements to it wider than that so it's kind of light-hearted in a way action what do you relate to the character that you have there um, definitely star-wise, I can relate to her look. Um, I think she's got quite an interesting dynamic because she's um, quite hard maybe on the exterior but inside a lot a lot softer so that's quite an interesting angle of the character. So yeah, definitely one way I can see where she's, she's coming from. Tiffany Wells who plays the character Gina um, is a very good friend of mine and um, she came to me and said, I've been cast in this film called Spy Darlings and I had to do a song and we're looking for a song, trying to decide what to do. I told them about you as a songwriter. Um, do you think you might be interested in doing a song for me? Which of course I agreed to. And uh, so I did a song called Sing a Happy Song. Whenever I'm unhappy, I sing a little song. And we recorded it and uh, the um, producers at Very Vague and director Salem liked it very much. Um, and so I said, great, uh, if there's anything I, else I can do, then um, just ask. And they said, well, actually, um, we do kind of need another 12 songs. <laughs> so I said, yes, let's do it. So that was kind of how I came on board. Um, originally, I wasn't going to be acting uh, in the film, um, but as things evolved over the, the couple of years that we've been doing it, I got involved to, to be the diva. And she kind of fronts the, the show where the girls are dancing, obviously with a view to uh, ripping off the men and emptying their wallets for them. Uh, what uh, flavour does Gina bring to the movie? Glamour. She brings a lot of glamour to the movie. Um, class, and so no offence to the other two girls, because they're very classy in their own way. Um, and I'd say that she, out of the three of them, she's the most beautiful. Darling, you know, I heard the other day that in Thailand, if you're homeless, you can just live by the beach. I thought that was so you. I have the fabulous privilege of being able to show you around the venue where we're actually doing most of our filming uh, for the location Juicy Girls, uh, where Matilda works, of course. Um, and a lot of the action happens, particularly between Matilda and Tix uh, and Bitch and the Diva and such. We've created this place um, in a venue called the Phoenix Artist Club, which is underneath the Phoenix Theatre on Charing Cross Road, right in the middle of Soho's glittering West End. Here we are in the back section. Uh, you might recognise this little piece here uh, as to the demise of Tix with Matilda, the fight scene just before they run off and he gets murdered in, or dies in the toilet. And then if we turn around, about face over in this direction, this is Susie. <laughs> Just a new look, Susie Chameleon, a fabulous, gorgeous choreographer. Uh, the choreography was something that, it was kind of a natural um, progression of my role within the film. So starting out as, as an actor playing Tracy and then um, as a choreography assistant and then progressed into actually being the principal choreographer, which was an honour and it really challenged me because I hadn't had um, a role of that, of 
that kind of calibre before, although I have for years worked as either a dancer or I've been very interested in dancing and performing in general, so I'm very aware of sort of movement. I enjoy it as a hobby. Um, you often find me dancing on tables somewhere uh, if I've had enough drinks. But, uh, <laughs> one of my, I'd say, the favourite routine of mine was the routine we did for Stronger Every Day. The concept behind that was um, having the two dancers, one representing the diva, the character of the diva's um, emotion of vulnerability um, that she would have felt and that's portrayed in the song. I guess you never know all the pain in my heart and my soul. So if you sort of spin yourself around, you'll see this quite a nice auditorium. A lot of the pictures and autographs on the wall are all originals and authentics. Going back some considerable time, so it's a place with a lovely, lovely atmosphere to work. Seeing the sets and, you know, seeing the script kind of come to life um, a bit more than just, re just reading it was, was interesting. Oh, my head. My hair was all over my face. <laughs> Is that what you want? Or? What would uh, Gina be like if she went off uh, the screen? I think she, where would she live in London? Yeah, and what, what she I would think do she'd live in Chiswick and she'd most probably be a madame in a bordello. You know what a bordello is? For prostitutes. And I'd be, you know, sort of Eden, yeah, room 25, you know, she does certain things. I'd be a, a madame, definitely. How long does it take uh, to create a Gina in makeup and, and hair and style? Therapy? Um, about two hours. About two hours, yeah, with everything, with the wigs and the makeup. I have very little makeup on, just a little bit of lipstick. Not much, you know, mm -hmm. it's natural beauty. <laughs> Would you come this way, I'll take you into the ladies' room. Yes, you do. This is where we filmed the death scene. And here she is, look, start from my elbows here. Matilda, of course, Rahel Kapsaski. Just putting her hair back together after scraping all the fake blood off of her face. Cleaning up all the water evidence and blood all around the walls. Yeah. Yes, you wouldn't think that there'd been a murder in here just now, would you? Just, just not, not 15 minutes ago, but blood everywhere. Disgusting stuff. So, so this is it. This is where it all happens. And the floor's still sticky from now. I can feel that under my feet. <laughs> So there you are, that's um, Juicy Girls, um, and uh, we really hope that you enjoy the film. And if you do get a chance when you're in London to come and visit the Phoenix Club, I'm sure they would be very grateful, especially after allowing us to just wreck the jaw and take over for so many weeks filming. Um, so uh, there you are, Juicy Girls in a nutshell. What is the song that you're going to sing? Um, well, that's top secret at the moment, <laughs> you have to say. Is it the heaviest song or, or, or um, less, is it a fast song like, or, or a slow song? It's a melodic song, <laughs> which I'm going to sing. Do you know the words already? No, I don't know all the words. Ah. Yeah, I'm still... Okay, thanks. Yeah, thank and you. Is that it? Yeah. Can I give you a blowjob? <laughs>